Good morning, everyone, on this Thursday, January 7th. We're continuing our reading in uh, the first letter of St. John, and we're in chapter 4, verses 19 through chapter 5, verse 4. Beloved, we love God because he first loved us. If anyone says, I love God, but hates his brother, he is a liar. For whoever does not love a brother whom he has not seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. This is the commandment we have found from him. Whoever loves God must also love his brother. Everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ is begotten by God. And everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten by him. In this way, we know that we love the, the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome. For whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We're seeing this pattern uh, several times during the last several days, this pattern of, of God's love first. It's the basis for the love that we are then to extend to others. And again, we have this wonderful expression here that God, we love God because he's the one who initiated that love first to us. And there's a, a wonderful way of looking at that kind of thing. Uh, and I'm going to see it here. Here is what it is. Uh, Jesus loves me. Jesus chose me. Jesus redeemed me. Jesus called me, Jesus has pardoned me, and Jesus has taken me into union with himself and with the triune God. Now, there's a lot of love that's been extended to me, and when I think about that in those terms, then the next part of the commandment, which is to love one another, uh, should be seen as kind of a natural. He's redeemed me the sinful person that I am. That's a great expression. That should be a basis then to say, well, if God can do that for me, he certainly, I should be able to do that for others. It's not always easier uh, said than done, but it is the basis when we see it from that light. Um, and the next part, it says, whoever loves God must also love his brother. Uh, this is the a true sign of being in love with God is by our expression of how we treat other people. And so that's a sure sign. It's something that, you know, if we have troubles with this, we need to then maybe perhaps extend or embrace the love of God in a much more profound way. Then it goes on to have this important thing. It says, everyone who believes Jesus is the Christ, or in other words, the Messiah, is begotten by God. So if you're begotten by God, uh, then you know that that person is loved by the Father also. And so we need to love the ones that are begotten by the Father. In other words, our fellow Christians if they've been gotten by the Father, then we need to also love them too. And then he uh, gives us saying, you know, if you, for the love of God is this, that we keep his commandments. Someone has said uh, God's commandments are kind of like the manufacturer's handbook. God knows who we are and he knows exactly what we need in order to live a prosperous and good life a life that is fit for heaven. And so he has these commands. They're, he's the one who made us. So he has the manufacturer's handbook. What's going to work best for our lives? And when we embrace his commandments, I think we'll find for our life a better life. And he says not only that, but the victory that conquers the world is our faith. That's a wonderful expression of uh, promise that's given to us. Stay safe, folks. Hopefully we get to see each other soon. Bye for now.